Welcome to the iShop Davy podcast, where we're enhancing the positive local buying experiences for the residents of Davy County, North Carolina. When you choose to spend your money, you have many places to choose from. This podcast reminds you to spend your money here because Davy County is home to great customer service, quality business products, and innovative business leaders. The iShop Davy podcast is introducing you to these leaders each week. My name is Chuck Taylor, your host for the iShop Davy podcast. Thank you for joining us this season. We're focusing on the service-based businesses that enhance the well-being of our county. All right, and we're back at the iShop Davy podcast. We're so excited to be here today. We have Chris Johnson and Julia Bennett with CKJ Building and Design here today. Say hi, guys. Good to see you, Chuck. Hey, it's good to have you here. So you've got a lot to tell. You're doing a lot of things in the community. I want to launch right into the story of your business. Chris, tell me, what does CKJ offer to the residents of Davie County? Well, Chuck, our business has always been about customer satisfaction and having a personal persona with our customers. And this started long ago. And what it has turned into is a, a lot of repeat business for us. A lot of our customers they uh, refer their neighbors to us, their friends and family. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we've been very, very fortunate to have just some great customers and repeat business for that. And what we offer, too, is a lot of our subcontractors are from Davie County. Our mechanical contractor, landscaper, uh, grading contractor, our painter, brick masons. These guys all live in Davie County, and uh, a lot of our subcontractors we have dealt with for over 15 years nice. just in this county. So we try to give back and keep it within the county. Right. Another thing we like to do, too, is renovation work. We have quite a few things left over, old cabinets, sinks, light fixtures, plumbing fixtures, and we like to turn those into Habitat Restore, okay. uh, and, and that's right here in the county. Right. And, in fact, yesterday, Julie and I were wanting to meet for it strategize session to kind of organize things for the rest of the week. And uh, we met up at Maddie Cakes. That was yeah. getting it to where we live. Right, and, yeah. Uh, it's a great place to stop in for a little something, sure. That's right. Got a little something nice to eat and was able to strategize for uh, our events for the upcoming week. And uh, so it's good to have good places to go in this county. Chris, what I'm hearing you say is really this word that's coming back to me is the word community. So you've got people that have worked with you in the past that are part of your community, and they're sharing the word to folks in their community. You're reinvesting to the local business people that are helping you provide this high quality service to your customers. And then you're giving back into the community as well. So this is an investment into Davie County as much as it is just your business that you're trying to grow. That's right. And the more we put into it, we actually get more out of it. And I think you'll find that with anything in business, the more you put into it, the better the return. And um, it's been very good for us. Good. So you have a great passion for Davie County. That's really evident. I'm curious, what prompted you to start doing business here in Davie County? Well, it actually started almost 25 years ago, uh, actually a little more than 25 years ago. While in school, I met my wife, Melissa. Uh And um, at the time, I had a fantastic opportunity to work with a high-end quality contractor doing $1 million plus dollar homes. Okay. And so I learned a lot about quality. I've done everything from digging footings, been in rebar, to full quality control for uh, high-end homes. And so I met my wife in college, and on the weekends, we would ride around and look at these million-dollar homes that I was working on. And so we both had a passion for very high-end quality stuff. Well, my wife's family originated from this county. Gotcha. And so we decided early on before we even had kids, hey, you know, where are we going to spend the rest of our life? Mm. And Davie County was the answer without hesitation. And we've nice. lived here for well over 20 years. And um, we have two great kids, one that just graduated from Davie High last year and is at NC yeah. State now. And we still have our youngest son in middle school in this county. So that's what got us to stay in this county. And it's all family oriented. Uh-huh. It's just a nice rural area, a nice place to go. Uh, it's a good, safe community for us to build in. Mm. And uh, we enjoy it here. So this is, you're in this for the long haul. I mean, so I, what I'm hearing is you're building homes for friends, for neighbors, for individuals, and you're also providing this professional, and I'm going to use the word you didn't necessarily use, but I'm hearing kind of this luxury environment where you're able to build nice quality homes if somebody wants those that is going to satisfy their long haul run in the county as well. If you want a home that's going to last a long time for your family, 
then you're you're the guy to go to. That's right. And what kind of sets us apart is we do build for the longevity of the home. And, mm-hmm. and it's things like when we do a new home or even a renovation, we use things like a wood eye joist. And we glue and screw our subfloor down to that wood eye joist. And it virtually eliminates any squeaks. And we're always nice. improving the materials we use in a home. And we want to build every home like it was our own home. And I think that's what has set us apart for so long is we go above and beyond on everything we do. Now, Chris, I got to be honest with you. I'm a pretty smart guy, but when it comes to construction, I have no idea what I'm doing. So a wood eye joist, this is fascinating to me. So a joist is that long beam that holds the floor up, right? That's right. And what's a wood eye? Tell me that. Well, basically it's what they did years ago is they tried to duplicate a wood steel beam and a steel beam is as strong as it gets. Yeah. And so they basically designed a piece of wood that met that same kind of engineering, but with wood instead of steel, obviously. Okay. And uh, it's true, it's straight, it won't shrink, it won't move, and things like that play into the quality aspect of building a home or addition. Oh, okay. So I like this. So what I'm hearing is you are thinking about the details. So when someone is living in a house, you are not just putting down a floor. We're putting down a strong floor that's going to be sustaining for kids that are running around in the home. And is it going to make a ton of noise when you're walking on the floor? Is it going to sound like ghosts or thumping and bumping in your house at night? I like this. Yeah. Exactly. In fact, uh, one floor system, they actually deem themselves the silent floor. Oh, and, and that's okay. exactly what it is. So it's little things like that that make a difference. And, and we go above and beyond, too. Like in a bathroom, we'll use moisture-resistant drywall instead mm-hmm. of standard drywall. Same thing in garages and sunrooms. We do a little extra, and at the end of the day, you're getting a much quality product. Cool. All right, we're going to take a break right here because we're able to do this podcast because we've got some wonderful supporters who have decided they want to step in and help out this podcast. So we're going to take a break, listen to them. We'll come right back and hear more about what you're doing for folks here in Davie County. People are odd. We all work differently. Ever feel misunderstood in the workplace? Do you ever think that conversations could be easier? Understanding personalities and preferences can help you lead others better, negotiate conflicts seamlessly, and motivate coworkers to success. If you want to learn more, listen to the Personalities in the Workplace podcast as Tamoji Jackson of Sage Garden Care Center interviews me, Chuck Taylor. Follow the link in the show notes or visit us online at sagegardencare.org to begin listening today. Want to know about the Swicegood Group? We're a brokerage and auction firm that specializes in exclusive seller representation, asset appraisals, real estate evaluation, digital marketing, video promotion, and the sale of both real and personal assets. From the coast of North Carolina to the mountains, we have sold large tracts of land, multi-million dollar assets, celebrity estates, and even mom and dad's home and contents. Give us a call, 336-751-4444, or find us on the web at theswicegoodgroup.com. All right. Thank you to our sponsors who've made this podcast possible. So we've already talked a little bit about this next question, Chris, but what I really want to know is what makes your business unique to Davie County residents? I mean, there's a lot of people who call themselves builders and who are doing stuff. And I know you're working in a community aspect to help the county, but what makes you unique? Well, what sets us apart is we are a husband-wife team. Okay. Uh, we have been, this year, Mike, our 25th wedding anniversary year. Congratulations. And also our 25th year of being licensed in the state of North Carolina. To Hold, okay, now, Chris, I'm sorry. I'm going to interrupt right here. You work with your wife, and you've been happily married together for 25 years. That's right. That's impressive. Yep, good job. We are still married. Yes, <laughs> yeah, thank good you. Job. Yeah. I appreciate that. Sure. So combined, uh, we have 50 years experience uh-huh. doing what we do, and that's what sets us apart. And One thing we like to do is make the construction process as stress-free as possible. And the way we do that is we get with the customer on the front end, and after we design their dreams and come up with the scope of work, my wife will take them out and help them pick out items for the house, whether it be ceramic tile floors, cabinets, countertops, hardwood flooring. And so we guide and direct our customers through that process. And there can be thousands of decisions to make, and we make it easy for them. My wife is kind of, uh, I guess, what you'd call a personal shopper for our clients. Sure. And uh, what more fun could you have to have someone take you out shopping for (laughs) a a lot of fun things that go in your house? So that's what we do and make it stress-free. And having the husband-wife team is just a great asset 
my wife can focus with the woman under the house, with the kitchen and the bathroom details. Mm -hmm. I can focus with the guy with the man cave and the garage <laughs> yeah, right, and, right. and the grilling area and the, and the sure. hardscape areas. And so it, it kind of sets us apart, and it's really nice, and, and we complement each other, I believe. She keeps me in line, keeps me on task, and so uh, it's a real benefit having her to our business, that's sure. for sure. So I see a personal touch on this that's not – uh, some guy going, yeah, I'll build your house, what you want in it. You know, this is, hey, look, what, what do you want to have as your feel? I've taken a moment to learn about what you think your kitchen is going to be like, what your bathroom is going to be like. And I know where to go get those products and supplies. I know where to go get those deals. And this is holding their hand through the process. And I like what you said at the very beginning, stress-free, because if there's anything stressful, it's building a house together and you're reducing this. This is almost, you're almost bringing counseling into this, Chris. Good job. <laughs> right. Well, it's funny that you mentioned that. My wife and I in 1998 did build a house together from yeah. start to finish. We physically laid the house out. Wow. We framed the house, just me and her. We physically framed the house. Mm -hmm. uh, we painted the house. We pulled all the wiring in that house. Wow. We literally did everything to that house and did it in nine months, nice. which was incredible sure. in itself. And we're still married. So um, <laughs> so we made it right, through yeah. that process, and, and we've just been a good team for the last 25 years plus. So uh, it's been really good. And another thing that kind of sets us apart, too, is a lot of people don't know this, that I'm a licensed commercial contractor as well. Okay. And so we do some commercial work. We like doing commercial outfits. We like mm -hmm. moving companies into bigger space or newer space we can renovate and upfit those customers and so that's what we like to do as well my wife can assist with that and i've got a, about 25 years of autocad experience so i can design and space plan and hmm. uh, with my wife's help we can spin things in a really neat way once we find what our customers really like great we can turn that thought into a dream and dream into a reality that's smart that is really smart. So again, that hand-holding process to make people feel comfortable. And what I think I want is what I'm going to end up with, or what I'm going to end up with is really what I need, where I'm going to be at. That sounds perfect. All right. So one more question for you. Let's kind of get into the nitty gritty. I, I know that you're, you're probably working in your customer's world, but if I'm a customer and I'm walking to CKJ Building and Design, what can I expect when I walk into your business or a conversation with you? What does that look like for me? Okay, well, we actually operate out of our home. Sure. Like a lot of small businesses do in this county. It's a great luxury to have. So our customers really don't come to us. We like going to them. We like going Getting to in their, their world. space. Yep. Uh, we like to see how they live, how they function, and uh, put together some ideas that help them with their life, help them live their life a little easier, help them live their life a little more luxurious. Okay. Uh, we can see how they work and live day to day in mm. their homes. And that goes back to the AutoCAD thing. We can take a kitchen that someone's not happy with, the workspace isn't set up good, mm -hmm. and uh, I can put it on AutoCAD, spin it a few different ways, give them some ideas. And that's why we go to our customers. Even if we're talking to someone about a new home, we like to go to their land, their property. Mm. And if it's in the middle of 40 acres, how do we put this house on 40 acres that makes mm. sense? How do we orient it towards the sun to make the most sense for energy conservation? How do we set that house out there for driveways? Right. We like to see the property. We like to see where everything is going. And so we like visiting our customers. Certainly then come to our house and see how we live sure. uh, right. okay. and, see, and see our workspace. We actually have a, a really nice workspace, but we do prefer to go to our customers. Sure. So I'm envisioning this couple coming to you and they're saying, hey, here's our home. Here's what we don't like about it. Here's what we want to be in. And you're learning about their space. You're learning about where they are, things that they're not satisfied with, things they do like. So when you go to build the home, you're able to do it from a firsthand experience as opposed to just dreaming up some concept. Exactly. And we have repeat customers that now will call us up and kind of give us free reign to kind of design what they mm. are thinking. And, and we're very pleased to do that. And it's very rewarding when we have a customer that trusts us enough to say, hey, I've got this much money to put into this renovation. Mm -hmm. I know you're going to make it right. And at the end of that process, they say, well, you nailed it. That's exactly what I wanted. Colors are perfect. Melissa did a great job on the selections. This is exactly what I dreamed of. Cool. So it's almost like that HGTV model, except you're doing it for real life people who have real incomes and real budgets and exactly. you have to help them for real. 
<laughs> and the funny thing is, we started this over 25 years ago before there was HGTV. So. There you go. <laughs> right. So, so you got in the business early. You know what you're talking about. Chris, thank you. This is very exciting to hear more about your story. I think we would be remiss if we didn't get people to contact you. If someone wants to reach out to you, what's the best way to find you? I'd like for them to call me personally. Okay. My cell phone number is 336-757-2568. I'd love to talk to you. Great. All right. So Chris Johnson, CKJ Building and Design, thank you for being here with us today. Tell us more about your story. Thank you for what you're doing to the folks uh, and with the folks in Davie County. We're grateful. Appreciate you here. Thank you, Chuck. All right, so that is iShop Davey for week six. Week seven is coming up soon. We encourage you to come back and listen to our next episode of what we're offering here in Davey County. Thanks for listening to the iShop Davey podcast today. We're proud to showcase our innovative business leaders who are enhancing our wonderful local community. For show notes, including links to resources we discussed on today's show, head to iShopDavey.com. Also, take a moment to subscribe to iShop Davey wherever you listen to your podcast so you won't miss any of our upcoming shows. We love to spread the word, so we encourage you to tell a friend about our show. Keep up on all our upcoming events by liking the Davey County Chamber of Commerce on Facebook. We'll see you next time on the iShop Davey podcast.